Sirach 39 and 28. There be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. Giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son, Yahweh, by Shem Yahushai, by Shem Rekakwadash, double honors to our apostles and elders at Great Millstone for teaching us his truth according to the Bible, and well, another Shalom, all the sincere Akim, about the four corners of the earth. Pushing this truth through diligence and sincerity and in charity, and another shalom to all the sincere followers, believers of Yahweh by Shem Yahushai, not just heroes of the word, but doers as well. You men, women, and children, and hopeful elect shalom. Our Kelly Rule spoke to the 14 year old's family, and she's live at police headquarters tonight. <laughs> Kelly? Well, Jason, tonight Philadelphia police tell us homicide detectives are currently questioning two people in connection to this very shooting, which they say was clearly a targeted shooting. Meanwhile, 14-year-old Samir Jefferson's family is devastated. Just my son, every time I close my eyes, I see my son. Desiree Goodson says she just wants her son back. That's my son. I birthed him. He wanted to be somebody. He wanted to be known. Samir Jefferson, a 14-year-old Thomas A. Edison High School freshman, was waiting for the bus near Wyoming and Rising Sun in Feltonville Monday afternoon around 3.30 p.m. when police say two people got out of a car and chased him, firing off about 35 rounds. Jefferson was hit 18 times and ran a block before collapsing. The right aid at the busy intersection was covered in bullet holes Tuesday. Jefferson's brother said he told him he was going to Burger King after school. He has to take two buses to get home. I was with him before I left school. We did everything together. We went to school together. We ate together. We did everything. Whatever it was that drove what happened yesterday afternoon, we may never be able to stop that because there were people that were intentionally going to take a young man's life. Jefferson's family says his Instagram shows that he messaged someone a video of a fight approximately 15 minutes before he was killed. Police say social media drives a lot of the violence in the city, and they are looking at whether or not it was a factor in this case. The Philadelphia Federation of Teachers is calling on more resources for students and a comprehensive community-based strategy to address the violence crisis. Family members of students have few solutions. Best thing you can do, bring them here, watch them walk in, and pick them up. Is that crazy that it's come to that? It's sad. I don't care about no justice. I don't care about retaliation. I just want my son back. <laughs> like, none of that can help me kill my son back. Sad. I don't care about no justice. <clears throat> all right. And you're going to see a lot of faces like this. All right. And in, in these upcoming times and days that we're living in, man. That's why the scriptures say, make no tarry in the turn to the Lord and put not off from day to day. Because we're living in a time of vengeance, man. It's always been a time of vengeance, but it's, it, things are more heavier now because we're coming in the end of Esau, Edom's rulership. All right, the whole earth is in a chaos right now, man. All right? And the only way you Israelites are going to be protected is by coming back and repenting. All right? Mending your ways with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai because he got spirits out here, man. Here it is. This, this kid, or well, this young man, got shot 18 times. He was shot at 30. They hit him 18 times. All to appease the wrath of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Let's read it again. Sirach 39 and 28. There be spirits that are created for vengeance. Which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made him, made them. All right. And all that's going to uh, uh, ramp up in these latter days because. <clears throat> Matter of fact, I'm going to jump, jump down. Because it's prophecy, man. Is prophecy. This is Sirach 40 and 9. <clears throat> it says, Death and bloodshed, strife and sword, calamities, famines, tribulation, and the scourge. These things are created for the wicked. So somewhere along the lines, this, this Jake was being wicked, man. In the eyes of Yahweh Bashim, I was shot. Okay? 
somewhere along the lines he was being wicked. <clears throat> uh, I'm looking for a quick precept. Um, uh, can't find it right now, but I'll come back. It says verse 10, uh, Sirach 40 and 10. It says, <clears throat> these things are created for the wicked and for their sakes came the flood, right? And, and in these latter days, what's going to come? Fire. For the wicked of our people. You know, we always like to, uh, you know, bring this out. You know, but it, it's true. You know, the, that was a horrible way to go out. But in a way, it was kind of a mercy kill from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh man. Who the world ignorantly and willingly calls God in Jesus Christ. Because now that Jake is at peace. All right. And he's not going to have to go through. What, you know, we call Jacob's trouble in the scriptures, Jeremiah 30 and 7. All right. Uh, let me get that precept real fast. Slack is give me one moment. This is the book of Job, chapter 4, verse 7. It says, remember, I pray thee, whoever perish being innocent. Because let her tell it. You know, a lot, a, a, a lot of women think their children are innocent, man, and are not worthy of getting the type of uh, evil that is brought upon them at times. All right. But that's what we're here to tell our people. Remember, the Lord said, Isaiah 58, cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet and show thy people their transgressions where they're going off, where they're offending the heavenly father. And we do that week in and week out. Look, we got uh, uh, brothers in, 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 um, in uh, PA. <clears throat> all right, all across the state. All right. Warning them and telling them where they're going off and how they can get back in the good graces of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shabbat. Do our people listen? No. Our people think they got the way. Therefore, the Lord's going to jack them up. Job 4 and 7. Remember, I pray thee, whoever perish being innocent or where. Were the righteous cut off Only thing she cares about Having her son back That's all she cares about She don't care about Justice She don't care about Whatever She just wants her son back man Alright And this is going to happen To a lot of our people In these last days man Verse 8 Even as I have seen They that plow iniquity And sow wickedness Reap the same so somewhere along the lines, this Jake was being evil. He was being wicked. And the Lord, was just, hey, that was just his time. That was just his time, man. All right. So if you sincere about serving your how about Shimei, I was shot. Hey, look. Make notarian. You don't have all day to seek him, man. All right. Take heed to the words of your how about Shimei, I was shot while you still have Time. <clears throat> Let's grab uh, maybe two more. Maybe grab two more. Let's go to um. This is Zechariah chapter 1, and I started, uh, started 3. It says, Therefore say unto them, Thus saith the Lord, that's what we say, the Lord of hosts, Turn ye unto me, saith the Lord of hosts, and I will turn unto you, saith the Lord of hosts. Verse 4, Be ye not as your fathers unto whom the former prophets have cried, saying, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, Turn ye now from your evil ways. And from your evil doings, but they did not hearken, nor hearken unto me, saith the Lord. You see? And that's what we're telling you now. Look, hearken. All right. Turn back to your how about Shimia Shah and take heed. Okay, because you don't want to be the next one that's being talked about on the news. RIP. All right. 
having family members, you know, going through this this the the this this heartache and pain. All right, <clears throat> you got to seek the Lord. Amos five and four it says, "For thus saith the Lord to the house of Israel, which consists of ye so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, regardless if you want to believe it or not." All right, the Lord said, "What? Seek ye me, and ye shall live." And ye seek the Lord by hearken to as many he has set up. All right, start with the head of apostles, the elders of great millstone on down. All right. Sirach 18 and 14. He have mercy on them that receive discipline and that diligently seek after his judgments. Okay. So those going to have mercy if you just return back to him. And that's what it's about in these last days. You know. Like they had it in that movie State Property, get down or lay down. All right, and that's what you have about Shemir Abishai is pretty much saying in the spirit. So, Lord willing, lessons edifying. Text time I say, Shalom.